Aloha and welcome to this week's edition of Business in Hawaii. I'm Daylan Yanagida and we are broadcasting live from the Think Tech Studios in downtown Honolulu. If you want to tune in live, we are at www.thinktechhawaii.com. You may also subscribe to our programs and get on our mailing list there as well. The theme of Business in Hawaii is to share with you local stories of local people by local businesses and our guests share with us how they were able to build successes and opportunities in our community. In the Think Tech studio today is Lyle Fujikawa, Economic Development Specialist with the Department of Business, Economic Development and Tourism. Wow, Lyle, what a, <laughs> what a mouthful. Thank you it so is. much for joining us. Thank you us. for having me. It's wonderful. You know, um, DBED, yes. likely the best kept secret in Hawaii. It, it can be kind of intimidating to people, I mm -hmm. think. Um, we don't necessarily go out and promote ourselves, but we do our work, and we hope that speaks for us. Uh, DBED is really about creating jobs, creating a diversified economy, uh, and especially uh, jobs that, that are meaningful, that pay well, or sustainable. Mm -hmm. right? So our division, uh, the Business Development and Support Division, actually is pretty much the public-facing part of uh, DBED, and we actually do a lot of outreach on one part, and we do uh, other work in terms of like export promotion, for example. Um, so today, I'm hoping that we could, um, the first slide showing that um, we have all this information I'm gonna be talking about, but it's all on our website at invest.hawaii.gov, uh, and people can sign up uh, for our emails as well, um, but I'll be kind of giving a um, overview of what we do at the, the BDSD. Very so, nice. Um, Economic development specialist. Right. What exactly does that mean? Right. What do you, what, what do, you do, Lyle? So <laughs> people tell me, and I, I do think I have one of the best jobs as, as well, because I actually get to go out and, and meet all these business uh, owners, entrepreneurs, um, and sometimes go overseas, right, to, to go to those markets as well. Um, but I work in, um, Actually, we have two branches, but in, within the division, I do work uh, on what I call our domestic side, which is the business support. We have our uh, Enterprise Zones program, community-based economic development. But because of my background, uh, having worked in Japan for many years, I actually work on export promotion as well in going into Japan and a little bit of uh, business attraction and investment attraction. Uh, so I get to do work on, on both sides. Uh, but our division is really focused on getting into uh, a place where we can actually support individual businesses. Uh, we don't do it ourselves. We work with other partners and we, we gather resources um, and we do, do so through, through various programs. Uh, so maybe the, the next slide um, talking about our Enterprise Zones program. This is actually one of the, the best kept secrets. I, unfortunately, people really should, should be looking at this. It's a uh, incentive program for businesses that create jobs. It's a really a statewide uh, partnership with the counties. Uh, we are uh, signing up businesses all the time. Uh, we've become more efficient with an online uh, format as well. But the, the whole point is if you have a, an eligible business and you're creating jobs every year, you can actually get your GT waived. If you have a contractor who's, who's doing uh, work for you, their GT can be waived. And so you can put that money back into your business and therefore you know, keep growing. We've had huge companies, uh, DR Fortress, Maui Brewing Company, and you, know, you can see where they've, they've gone. And they were maybe smaller at one point, and so they, they saw this as an advantage. As an advantage. And so definitely, you, you know, as an entrepreneur, you, you want to uh, use whatever you can. Um, everything that I'm talking about is, is a free service. And so, you know, companies really should look at um, signing up and, and getting that information because it's, it's available there. Right? Um, we also uh, provide a, an annual resource, uh, the Hawaii Small Business Fair. The, the next slide uh, will show. This is just a brochure, but we had this most recently um, at the Leeward Community College. Um, next year, we'll be planning. Uh, at uh, most likely Honolulu Community College. But we work with several partners. We have uh, the school, SBA Hawaii, uh, DCCA Business Action Center, 
uh, SBDC, Patsy Bank Center, Forever, uh, Forever, you know, and the IRS. And we, what we do is we actually offer uh, over 25 classes, and it becomes a, a you know, a broad and uh, it can be deeper uh, as well, ranging from starting a business, business planning to QuickBooks to uh, creating a, a food truck business, you know, or even you know, uh, managing your IP. So we try to capture a lot of businesses there. Um, a lot of small business owners will, will attend. A lot of people with ideas only come, and they're looking for resources. They're looking to, to validate their, their ideas. Like, is this really going to work? And we actually have exhibitors, too. Uh, it, I, I want to say about 30 exhibitors. The banks are there for um, the guaranteed SBA loans. Uh, we have, uh, you know, as I mentioned, the Patsy Mink Center, SBA. Uh, sometimes the post office is there to help us with the shipping part of, of the business. So um, that is a huge resource to help small businesses get started. And if you kind of think about our pipeline, as we're saying, the community and, and you know, small businesses getting started, hopefully we could nurture them and get them to a size that is big enough to actually begin exporting. Right. So I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, I don't have a slide for, for Seabed, but we do have a micro loan program. And we actually are working with the uh, Hawaii Department of Agriculture. They're our loan officer, loan servicing partner. And it can be anything, you know, for, for farmers to, to purchase uh, farming equipment, you know, for, uh, you know, helping with the marketing, all that, that kind of uh, uh, business support, if you will. Uh, we are seeking uh, more uh, CDFIs, community development financial institutions, uh, for those non-ag loans that, you know, we're thinking of, as, as you know, we we're talking about, there's a lot more... Um, organizations that seem to be really looking at that social impact, right? And understanding that you, you need to, well, we need to diversify our economy and we have to support many different aspects of it. How do we target, like you were saying, um, we really try to see where, you know, the needs are and, and, and try to put resources there. Um, a really interesting program that has, has just begun, uh, the next slide, the Opportunity Zones program is, um, Actually, that's the Hawaii Business Fair. Uh, so we, we had all the exhibitors there showing, oh, nice. you know, people consulting. And then, of course, the idea is to capture them and, and to get them in the pipeline and service them later as they have, uh, you know, have more questions and whatnot. So um, uh, Hawaii Opportunity Zones is a uh, result of the Tax Act uh, to 2017. And it's a unique uh, program where... You have investors with uh, a lot of capital gains that actually can reinvest that into a fund that needs to be created. That fund will then invest in opportunity zones, and that's based on census tracts that, that are um, designated. We have uh, a number of brochures on our website uh, at the Opportunity Zones uh, page talking about where those specific areas are, and we um, are still... Uh, waiting for a lot of guidance from Treasury and mm -hmm. uh, IRS about how how things are going to be going. At this point, we're we're trying to work with partners uh, to just gather information and and support uh, businesses. And I think you know the next couple months we'll see some some new guidance and it'll be uh, be able to re really act. But right now, um, I think we're we're getting a lot of interest. Um, this will be something I think you want to talk about later. The benefit of this is really, again, taking a, a resource, the, the capital, and applying it to disadvantaged areas, right? And, you know, it could be a business that needs to be uh, re, re, rejuvenated. It could be a, a building, community center. Uh, you know, it could be, you know, Greenfield or, or what have you. So there's a lot of options, uh, and people are really excited about this, this program. Um, the uh, a large uh, program that we a large impact uh, program that we, we do work on is the high step program, and it's the Hawaii State uh, Trade Expansion Program uh, that is partially funded by the SBA, and that's actually uh, a very successful program for us uh, in terms of our outreach uh, and also um, you know the impact. 
But exports, you know, as we as we think about how do businesses grow, right? We have a an environment um, here. Maybe you're on an island in Molokai and you're just thinking about selling to to your your neighbors. You have to think about, of course, selling to the rest of the state. Um, you know, it's about really thinking about what your potential is, and our job is to show businesses that they do have kind of give them ideas that they can do these things. Um, exporting is not just selling to the the U.S. mainland, but it's about um, really looking at overseas markets such as Japan that have huge affinity, right? And we have uh, a lot of opportunity there to, to uh, continue expanding. In our lifetimes, it will not end. So. Um, the high step program is probably one of most interest for me because we talk to so many startup entrepreneurs who envision their business here mm -hmm. but do not think right away yes. at the get-go about the exports right side. right right and so um actually exporting it doesn't have to be um just apparel or or gift items or food it could be services right? architects engineers um and we're trying to develop that further is the software development right um, as we have those other aspects of the economy, um, cleaner, right, higher paying, right, those kinds of uh, businesses, if we can put sort of the Hawaii brand on it, definitely we, mm -hmm. we could, you know, promote that as an export. The programs that you folks are creating over at DBED, you and your colleagues, simply amazing. I, I think don't get enough. Airtime, if you will. Um, but when we come back, I'd like to talk about a few more of them and sure. maybe share some of those success uh, statistics with us um, on, on where that goes. Um, so we are going to take that short break. This is Business in Hawaii. We'll see you back here shortly. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life, which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go beyond the lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. Aloha, I'm Stan Osterman, a host here on Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness here on the island. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Mahalo. Welcome back to Business in Hawaii. With us today is Lyle Fujikawa from DBED. Um, huge title, but amazing things that are coming out from your department. Um, when we went to break, we were talking about um, businesses, entrepreneurs thinking about exports um, as part of their business model. Yes, definitely uh, exporting really should be on, on people's minds because you, we, we have the disadvantage of geography away but it's an advantage because people want to come here. The, the unique climate, the, the, the being away from everything again, right? So from that, obviously culture and, and the mix of cultures that we have and then the, whatever products that can be developed from that have a unique brand value that is highly desired, right? So um, whenever someone is, is thinking about manufacturing, really should be thinking down the line, yes, I should be exporting. You know, starting with the mainland, you know, that's technically, you know, shipping outside of the state. But what we're talking about is overseas. Um, and this is something where uh, actually all states are, they have their own programs in the SBA. Uh, federal funds, they um, put it together. We have to put a proposal in every year. Um, luckily, we've been receiving uh, funds and we've been putting it to good use. And if you can see on the slide, uh, the metrics that, you know, the, the total impact that we're actually creating jobs, you know, the ultimate 
uh, you know, measure is really, you know, the taxes uh, collected, the, sa the sales uh, being done. Um, I'm actually planning uh, a trip to Osaka in July in a couple weeks to take about 30 companies uh, to a department store. And they have done a tremendous job of uh, putting together a Hawaii fair. They do this for various regions, but the Hawaii fair is by far their, their biggest. It's a one week uh, period, the Hankyu uh, Umeda department store, and 250,000 people will come through. It's, it's all segments. It's, um, there's hula, there's music, there's food, and they just make it seem like, you know, as best as they can, Hawaii, and, and creating that environment that people want to buy. So it's a really great um, opportunity for those smaller uh, companies who don't have the capacity to really export per se, but to show up and have, you know, a consumer right there. They're selling, they're doing, getting validation, um, brand building a little bit, and it's a really good experience. And so <clears throat> building upon that, in September, we have our Tokyo International Gift Show, which is our largest. Um, we take about 80 companies every year. Um, and that is um, really a B2B, your more traditional exporting, finding importers, the distribution. Um, and we've had some really successful companies. Hawaiian Chip Company uh, has done really well. They, have, they still have their chips, the, the very delicious taro chips. But they realized that the manufacturing of a hot sauce would be more economic in the sense of you know, the profit and, and, and all that. And so the application of that, they found food service uh, clients, they, they realized that they can you know, get the retail and all that. So um, we have uh, some food companies, but we have a lot of apparel companies and uh, gift items, if you will, soap and, and natural products. And that's an area, interesting area that, that really can grow further. Um, that and so this out. contingent of 30 folks that are heading out to Osaka with mm -hmm. you, they came through High Step? To we, we contribute uh, some funds to the program, to the Umeda program. Um, the buyer actually comes to Hawaii, and we, we've taken, uh, her name is uh, Sabala San. We go to Maui, the Made in Ma uh, Maui County Fair, and find some companies. Uh, we're always suggesting good companies for them to, to uh, feature. And the best thing is, is she's young, she's a woman, she knows what the target audience, you know, wants. And so we, we have a great pipeline of showing these companies. And in the end, it's, they know what, you know, it has to sell, right? So it has to make money uh, for the company and, and everybody win because it's not only the company itself, but it's the Hawaii brand. It's authentic uh, Hawaii. Um, there's always like Hawaii. We never get away from that, right? But we have to always, um, as much as possible, uh, promote the authentic uh, Hawaii brands that are made here and have, you know, the true representation, right, of, of aloha and everything. So um, supporting those brands um, and hopefully they can get to a larger size where they can participate in other, you know, become bigger and do exporting, right? So um, the reason why we do that is because it's manufacturing, uh, wholesaling, those are the jobs that we, you know, hope to create. And if you get into um, sort of that intellectual property, right, of, of Hawaii brands, um, it become a higher value, right, um, to, to mitigate the cost of, of the shipping and then being so far away from everything. Yeah. Um, also, uh, another export that sometimes is not really thought of as an export is actually the inter international student attraction, um, which is our next slide. It's actually a tremendous economic engine um, that we've been focusing on the, the past few years, but you know, creating almost 500 million you know, total economic impact. Um, wow. I actually, uh, anecdotally, I actually saw this in, in action. So a student from Australia was visiting, uh, or, I'm sorry, she was she's studying at, you know, oceanography at, at UH. Her family came to visit. And they didn't just come to, to Oahu, they went to Maui. And they, they camped out and they did you know, spend money there. And they came here to Oahu and they spent money. And, you know, <clears throat> you can really see that you have this additional impact. And so um, it's, it's a great way to um, attract, you know, of course, ideas. Uh, people who, if they figure out a way to <clears throat> not um, 
of course, you can't remain on a student visa, but if you're creating a company, they themselves become entrepreneurs or bringing capital, right? Not just intellectual, but you know, actual financial capital uh, to strengthen the, the Hawaii economy is, is you know, a tremendous thing. And so I think that's, again, Hawaii as you know, being a, such a unique place, attracting so many people, it's, it's an a, um, obvious solution. <laughs> so. So for entrepreneurs yes. um, who aren't familiar with all of the programming that DBED does, where do they start? Um, they really, they, they can come to our website and, and just start looking. Um, we're very fortunate because we, we have a pretty good search engine presence. Um, the, the last slide shows our, our website, but we have an email uh, sign up as well. Um, and we don't do all the work ourselves. We have mm -hmm. partners, and so if you, once you sign up and you indicate what you're interested in, mm -hmm. um, definitely we, we will put you in, in touch with, with the right person um, to, to help you. You know, we work with HDDC. They're a sister, uh, you know, we're part of DBED, but they obviously work on technology. Um, they have their new sandbox, you know, co-working space, but they also work on manufacturing. Um, I saw uh, Stan Oshman, you know, the energy part is, is really important. Um, and then Creative Industries um, Division, uh, working on, you know, the, the songwriting, the, the filmmaking, the, you know, all those aspects of uh, intellectual development, creative development that, that can also drive our, our economy. Um, so we have a lot of different areas within DBED, as well as working with other partners um, but if you say what you need, you know, we can, we can definitely put you in touch. Looking forward to that. Um, before the show, <laughs> I was laughing with you about, oh, an economic development specialist. Lyle, like, you just bury yourself in, in analytics and metrics and numbers. And <laughs> no, I, 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 we have a division, a research division that does, right? They, they publish the annual data book, right, which is, is a huge resource. Uh, they do studies for the ledge all the time. We do studies together. We get all the data. You know, they're breaking everything down and putting it back up together for us for, for um, communicating, you know, end results. Um, but, um, yeah, we're, it's great because we get to go and, and meet people in person and, and really help them because we can see that um, the, the results. You know, every year they, they, they get better and better. And I, I'll have you know, hour-long phone calls. And at the end, invariably, they'll say, thank you so much. Because I'm giving them a lot of, it's, it's not just this, but it's all my experience, you know, living in Japan and working in Japan. Um, but I always thank them. I say, well, you're doing the hard work. You're the small business and, and doing all that. So let's, let's work together to find success. So what are yeah. some of the things that you would like to create forthcoming for DBED? Um, just continue to work, you know, like I said, we, we focus on our certain areas and if we can continue to, to be uh, integrated, you know, synergistic and find those relationships, um, finding a way to share information easily. Uh, confidentiality is important. We don't, we don't ever share, you know, business knowledge mm -hmm. or, 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 you know, the, the results and all that individually. Um, we're very careful about how we work with our company information. We protect that. But um, definitely that, that uh, openness of, I might not be able to help you, but this person can. Or together, you know, like we don't have loan officers, so we're working with CDFIs to, to do loans. Um, just really continue to do that because that, that is the only way we're going to get better, right? So I, I hope, you know, through technology and, and just continuing to work together. Do you ideal. think that folks aren't, participating in these programs because they just don't know about them? I, I think so. I think they're, they're so busy, they, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm starting my business. And then it's like, you know, from day one, they're just, that's all they're focusing on. What we talked about it's, it's sometimes hard to ask for help. I don't know what I need help with, right? We don't know, we, we don't know. So um, come see, well, you don't necessarily have to see us. You can go to SBDC at, at Manoa. Uh, you know, go see Joe Burns or the Patsy Mink Center. They can help you structure your business. Um, you know, maybe you need to work on certain aspect of it. You know, is it cash flow? Is it just, you know, um, your accounting system, right? You know, having those tools mm -hmm. available. 
um, I, I was talking to uh, an artist. She's she's an artist. She creates jewelry, beautiful jewelry, and she's talking about her her credit terms. And and I'm not even a financial expert, but I say that sounds too generous to me. I think you need to tighten it up and demand more and step up and say, hey, I'm worth it, you know. And let's let's work together, right? So because that's what it is, right? It's mutual. You can't just give everything to to you know somebody else. Um, but it's it's that kind of thing where people are so focused on on one maybe the the business idea but not seeing how they can expand it how they can make it easier for themselves right but there's so much out there so you know google search <laughs> you can find things right? i do so. want to give our viewers one one more shot at how to get in touch with you yes please yes. um so if we could put up that last slide this is how they can find you? Sure, yeah. Uh, emails we send out periodically. We do uh, a lot of seminar training. We, we send out notices. We, we always have news on our website. Um, but once you get in the system, there's other various ways that you can participate in programs. Um, so the main thing is get an email, um, and uh, hopefully we can talk. Lyle, I appreciate you. I appreciate DBED and the, the amazing programs that you folks work so Great, hard thank you. To, to bring to us. Um, and really excited to hear more about the different sectors um, in DBED. Yes. So unfortunately, we are out of time. But thank you to Lyle for joining us today. And we look forward to hearing more about the different sectors in DBED and their exciting projects. A really big thank you to the great production staff here in the studio. And if you would like to be a guest on our show, please email your information to shows at thinktechhawaii.com. Business in Hawaii airs every Thursday at 2 p.m. and we look forward to seeing you here next week.